Okay, boys and girls, we're going to talk about what makes a sentence and the five rules that it needs to meet. A sentence is a group of words that makes a complete thought and makes sense. For example, the little frog jumped. That is a sentence because it makes sense and is a complete thought. What makes a sentence a complete thought? Well, in order for a sentence to be a complete thought, there must be a subject, also called a noun, and a verb. Going back to our first example, the little frog jumped. There is a subject noun, frog. There is a verb, jumped. So this sentence makes sense and is a complete thought. What else does a sentence need? It must have a capital letter. Every sentence must begin with a capital letter. It signals to the reader that a new thought is coming. In our example, the T and the from the little frog jumped is capitalized because it is the beginning of a new sentence. It tells the reader, hey, this is new, pay attention. It's a new thought. Um, I still see in fourth grade kids that do not follow this rule. This is a very, very important rule. A sentence must have an end mark. Every sentence must have an end mark. This is punctuation that comes at the end of the sentence, hence the name end mark. End marks include periods, exc exclamation points, and question marks. Can't be commas because commas tell you things come afterwards. So let's look at our example again. The little frog jumped. We have an end mark and it's a period. I would write down those punctuation marks just so you have them. All right, so the five rules to make a complete sentence. A sentence, sentence, sentence is complete, complete, complete. Uh, when it has these five things. Um, a sentence has a complete thought. It has a subject, 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 and a verb, 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 add a capital letter, and an end mark too, also called a punctuation mark, and you have a sentence. Don't forget your jingle. Uh, we'll continue practicing that jingle in class. Um, all right, so now here comes your turn, your assignment. I would like you to write three sentences following these rules on a piece of paper. It can be in your notebook. Um, and bring it to class tomorrow for a grade. So we'll go over these in our question and answer session. All right, I look forward to seeing your work.